the different dynamics of an eating disorder. So I guess I wanted to just briefly, I guess, talk with you and ask you before you developed your eating disorder and your um, battle with anorexia, what was your knowledge, understanding of an eating disorder? Did you even know eating disorders existed? So as I've discussed in the previous episodes, mine really started early on. Mm -hmm. I had no idea it was the development of an eating disorder. I still remember my mom took me to a doctor when I was about 16 because I'd, I'd lost some weight and the doctor said, you know, you're a runner. And that's typically what most doctors did over the years because I had a runner's build. I was an athlete. And um, my, my eating patterns were different mm -hmm. and developed and changed over time. So when I was in college, and, and I guess when I'd say that it kind of morphed into an eating disorder, I had no idea what an eating disorder was. Yeah. I had heard, I have one friend that, you know, apparently she went away to treatment in Wisconsin, and I just had this nebulous idea of, oh, well, she's got what, anorexia or something like that. So I really did have no knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't until well into the disease that the word anorexia came up particularly with men, because men develop yeah. in a different way. Doctors don't look for it. And uh, that was certainly my, my case. So, When you heard that, you know, who was the first person or how did you even become aware that you were developing anorexia? Because I know in previous episodes when you told your story, I know you were misdiagnosed a lot. And I know that that happens for so many people who go, they see their doctors. And doctors aren't very knowledgeable as far as the real signs to look for. So a lot of times misdiagnosis happens. So when did you really, I guess, get it settled in your mind? Like, okay, I have anorexia now. What does that mean? Um, that's kind of a tough question, especially being a man. Mm -hmm. Because when I first heard the word anorexia, I immediately dismissed it. Um, I'm a man. Men don't get anorexia. Mm -hmm. um, I was in graduate school, and I started seeing one of the counselors. That's when my weight had dropped quite a bit. I, had, I think I dropped below 100 pounds. And... The, the therapist there had said, well, you know, looks like you might have anorexia.